she is it, huh? The cover's not too bad looking, actually. Now that's sick! Following last year's first ever official English localization of the Super Mario gag manga series, which was a very entertaining read by the way, it featured unexpected content like Mario calling one of the bosses a scumbag, and then Dr. Mario shoving a giant pill into his patient's mouth to cure their depression. Viz Media strikes again by thankfully deciding to translate a collection of Kirby's best hits so us overseas fans can finally enjoy more than just the crazy artwork. Take a look at these faces. This is some of the best slapstick I've ever seen. The Mario manga was very much in the style of this humor as well, and it pushed the envelope. But I don't know, I guess I expected less of it from Kirby? Could you have ever anticipated that the very first chapter of a book with this as the cover would be all about Kirby getting a little too drunk like a stereotypical stressed out salaryman? This video will be an overview of the surprising opening pages of this bonkers tale, and a look at all of the other intoxicating references to intoxication in the Kirby franchise. To dive right in, if you're not familiar with Japan's Hanami picnic traditions, they are seasonal cherry blossom viewing parties, typically celebrated with lots of food and sake, an alcoholic drink made from fermented rice. This first story starts out with DDD and his loyal Dreamland followers trying to enjoy said picnic, despite the anticipatory anxiety that a certain pink puffball will ruin it with their insatiable appetite. Little do they know that the star warrior is napping in the cherry blossom tree they're all apparently planning to carouse under. Their worries come to the forefront when Kirby arrives uninvited and starts sucking up all the snacks. He and DDD start fighting, which results in the Penguin King hurling a bottle of what the localizers decided to call Loopy Juice at his rival. Kirby accidentally downs the beverage, and becomes a belching, blushing, speech slurring, hallucinating version of himself, who insists that everyone just relax so he can tell DDD about life on three separate occasions. He starts singing karaoke loudly and terribly as a nod to his ear-splitting vocals in the games and the anime. He then licks an invincibility candy, goes nuts by inhaling all the tree's leaves in the park, and passes out while hugging a restaurant sign. When Kirby comes to, he doesn't remember any of it, much like a blackout drunkard, but ultimately makes it up to everyone by becoming a cherry blossom tree via copy ability. I think it's really funny that any instance of the word drunk is substituted with loopy. There's even a comment from the author, Hirokazu Hikawa, questioning if it was really okay for them to draw Kirby Loopy, claiming to have been definitely fearless when the story was first published. This all feels like censorship, so my next question was what the original Japanese text called this drink. And sure enough, the bottle that reads Loopy Juice in English says sake in Japanese. You can even still see the kanji character for sake in the smaller panel of the localized version. This is the most prominent example of the Kirby series depicting drunkenness, but strangely enough, the booze references are not exclusive to this comic. The second episode of the anime, for example, shows Kirby acting like a bartender preparing a mixed drink. This scene is nowhere to be found in the English dub by 4Kids. In Kirby's Superstar Stacker, which unfortunately never made it to the West, Kirby and friends can be shown at a bar for a congratulatory screen with Kine the sunfish getting drunk on seawater. Lastly, the mix icon, which appears when you simultaneously inhale two enemies with abilities, illustrates Kirby preparing a martini in Kirby's Adventure and Superstar. A similar icon went unused in Kirby's Dream Course. I hope this was an interesting look at all of the shocking spirit illusions in the world of Kirby. What do you think about the censorship? particularly how the newly translated manga handles it. Despite any direct references to beer being removed and Kirby's otherwise inoffensive actions while under the influence, I've already seen some unfavorable comments about his behavior in reviews for the book. I personally tend to dislike censorship in general, but I find it interesting and I think in this case it's funny and fine since the intended jokes were left intact. The implications will fly over kids' heads while remaining super obvious to adults. I just might go over the rest of this book on the channel if enough of you would be down for that, as there's lots more to talk about like some Japanese phrases that were oddly just straight up not localized, and this forbidden romance gag involving DDD you have to see to believe. 
Thank you all for watching. Please let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments, and feel free to check out some of my similar videos listed in the description.